Cobra X Pipe install? It's about damn time. Let's get it. YouTube, what is going on? It is your boy Chris Rod here, and today what we're going to be doing is simply installing the X Pipe finally onto. The SN95 Cobra. And to keep things a little bit plain, Jane, short, sweet, and simple, the X pipe that I picked off was actually one that was in a site called Rico's Performance or Rico's Performance Parts. I got the X pipe over there. I think it was around maybe like $500 or something along that lines. So, uh, I don't quite remember, but there's a little bit something different when it comes to this X pipe. Their X pipe is kind of like a hybrid. So it's like an H and an X. Let me show you. So check this out. Here's why I say it's like a hybrid. Now, I don't know if you guys can really see kind of within this general area, but if you kind of look really in there, hold on. You should actually see that the hole for this particular system, it's not that big. What? What the f Compared to your usual uh, X-Pipe. And that's mainly because this is really an actual hybrid sort of system. It gets the flow going through the X, but it'll have the same relatively nice noise like an H-Pipe, which is the grunt noise. And I personally do like that grunt noise so that's why i really picked these particular x pipes now if we go to the car i'm pretty much already set up with what i need so so far what i have done is just i got these on my beautiful race ramps got a little chalk right there on that particular wheel we got my jack stands over there on the uh, rear end it's holding that whole rear so it's not going to move anywhere and something i already did was put some pb blaster right onto the bolts of the oem h pipe that's there that way, all these nuts are going to be nice and easy to take out, and I can, I'm not going to have any issues whatsoever. You know, now that I think about it, uh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. You know that gasket that goes to the uh, exhaust manifold onto the piece of the piping? I need that. So while I decide whether or not I really want to get that gasket, um, I think it's going to be a good point in time where I should just take the H-pipe out. And all you gotta really do is simply take out the four nuts that are gonna be on these two clamps over here. And then you're gonna follow the H pipe all the way down to the top where it goes to the exhaust manifold. And then get the two nuts that are located on the right side and the two nuts located on that particular pipe right here on the left side. So we're gonna do that, take this H pipe off, and then I'll think about that gasket after. Oh, and before I, I forget, cause I literally forgot. Um, let me just mention it to you guys real quickly. Before you even touch anything when it comes to taking out the H-pipe or the OEM H-pipe, uh, something that you should make sure you do, take out the connectors, not the O2s, but the connectors to the O2 sensors. Just follow the pipe into the O2 sensors, follow the sensor to the connectors, take the connectors out, should be a little pigtail, you kind of just push it in, take them apart, and now you're ready to take apart that H-pipe. Let's do this. Yo, and check this out. If you guys want to do this really efficiently and, you know, not be here for all day, for all day, it's good English. Just get a Milwaukee, come on, stop being broke. Get a Milwaukee, it's gonna help you out. You know it, I know it, we all know it. Get it at Home Depot, come on, stop playing. So I came across a minor issue. And the issue that I have is that right now, the last stuff that I need to take out, just to take out the entire H-pipe, is literally not being nice to me. The O2 sensor on this car is literally right in the way of the nut that I got to release. So chances are I'm going to have to take the O2 out and then from there I got to take the nut out and remove the whole H-pipe. So here's what I will say about this particular sensor because you know what I'm getting a little, not getting, I got pissed. I got really pissed. But check this out. I want you guys to avoid this when you're doing this particular install. That way you're not going to Home Depot, you're not going to AutoZone looking for stuff and it, the, ah, anyway. So here's a particular sensor that was giving me a big issue. And this sensor in particular is literally right under the nut that I had to get the whole H-pipe off. And basically all I did was struggled for about three hours. Then I went to Home Depot. I got myself a uh, 7 8 wrench. Was able to get it on the sensor, get it out, as you can see. And now we're ready to take this whole thing out and put the new one in. Persuasion. Old age pipe is out, and now we're ready to put on the new uh, X that we have, but it's only one issue. Check this out. So here's the new X pipe kind of just set up for how it's going to end up going to the car. O2 sensors, those are all in, and they have little dab indices, particularly on the thread, so that next time I'm going to maybe take one out, it's nice and easy. But here's my issue. These are the only things that I have. I still need about four screws for these right here to go to the actual tailpipes, and then, you know... <laughs> I gotta go to Home Depot again, so there's that. Fantastic. All 
All right, guys, so I just came back from Home Depot, got my hardware, I got my nuts, the washers, everything that I need to finish this all up. So I just wanted to show you guys exactly what's already done right now and how much I need to go. So I mean, as of right now, as you can see, these pipes, they are just not, they're not tightened down. They're just a bit snug. From here, I'm just ready to put everything on and I don't think I need to show you guys that. All we need to right now, all we need right now is simply just me starting this thing up and just listening to that good old roar. So it's gonna be wild. X, Outlaws, this is gonna be insane. Let's get it. I have great news, it's finally in. We're about to get a little, you know, uh, it doesn't matter, man. Oh my God, I'm so hyped, bro. Let's get this, bro. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yo, listen, I'm gonna tell you guys something right now. It's clearly dark and you can't see me now, but you know what? I'm doing this for y'all because I said I would. Let's go. All right, let's see how we're gonna do this. In the car. Oh my God. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, Rico's Performance X-Pipe with Flowmaster Outlaws, the dumps. Let's see what we got. Look, I don't know if you guys can 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 see the the pure excitement right now, but I'm hyped. It's it's this is this is wild, man. This is, yo, this Cobra, dude. Oh my goodness. I you know you know what? Honestly, believe it or not, I'm not too sure about the tone. I think I had to let it settle in a little bit because this uh, the Outlaw dumps is actually still pretty new on the car, so I think that still needs time to actually kick in and whatnot. But dude, that was insane. Are you kidding me? I don't. Ugh, wow, just. Wow. But with all that being said, if you guys found this video enjoyable and helpful in any kind of way, be sure to leave a like. And don't forget for your boy, be sure to join the clip by simply smashing the subscribe button. And as well as ring that notification bell. Until then, it's your boy Chris Ryan. I see all you beautiful people in the next one. Peace.